So, who's the narrator of Swordcatcher? So, Swordcatcher has a split POV. There is a male narrator, Kel, who's the Swordcatcher, and a female narrator, Lynn, who is a physician. And they have two separate stories in the beginning, but they dovetail together once Lynn is called to the palace to heal the Swordcatcher after he is wounded. You had initially had a darker ending for Chain of Thorns. Will we ever see that? I have said that I initially planned a bleaker ending for the last hours, and that's true. But it doesn't really work that way. It's not like movies with deleted scenes. I knew really pretty early on that I wasn't going to be able to write such a bleak ending that given the time we were living with and writing during the pandemic and the horrible stuff that happened before that, that there was no way that I was going to be able to write something hopeless, that I really saw a radical value in being able to be hopeful and not fall into despair myself by writing something so miserable. So none of the characters that you know are the characters as I would have constructed them for a much less hopeful ending. So it, the ending, the bleak ending wouldn't make sense. Do you think Anna and Ariadne will ever reconcile? Anna and Ariadne. Um, I don't want to obviously say what happens in the third book, but Anna and Ariadne have a romance that is one of my favorite tropes. I call it second chance romance. They had a romance in the past. Now they've met again after that romance went bad. Can they make it work this time? Um, and all I can say is Anna and Ariadne are not over. There's certainly a bunch about them in Chain of Thorns. And in fact, Ariadne is living with Anna.